hello guys welcome to your favorite channel everything stitches if you are new here you are most welcome if you are a returning subscriber you are also welcome so today on this channel we're going to be drafting cutting and sewing a booboo -boo dress which is also known as agbada for females so if this sounds like fun to you please you need to keep on watching watch this video from start to finish to learn how to draft and sew this agbada dress so subscribe also to my channel here on this channel we talk about sewing tutorials and i draft patterns weekly i talk about fashion business tips so if this sounds like fun to you hit on the subscribe button and without further ado let's jump straight to our tutorial guys we'll start this pattern by getting our measurements just three basic measurements we'll be needing that's the shoulder the hip and the full length of the booboo dress now I'll start by drawing my starting line draw across next I'll mark my full length of the dress I got it as 53 inches and I'll add one inch seam allowance to that I'll mark the line across next i'll be marking my neck width and depth now since i'm going to be slashing my center front and my center back in the middle i'll be slashing it i'll be adding half an inch to my my neck width to make it four inches instead of 3.5 and my neck depth is going to be two inches for the back so i'll connect the line across my hip is 42 inches i'll be marking 40 inches divided by four that is 10 quarter thereabouts then i'll be adding eight inches seam allowance to it because it's a booboo -boo dress it doesn't actually have to be tight so i'll be marking my how many would that be when 10 inches to be 18 quarter of an inch i'll be marking it all around my pattern from the starting line to the full length of the blouse then i'll be marking my armhole sorry my shoulder slant i'll be marking my shoulder slant which is two inches i took out for my shoulder slant you know our shoulders are not actually straight that's the reason for the shoulder slant there I'll be coming down by 10 inches for my armhole depth so that it won't be too tight. Everything about the booboo -boo dress has to be free. Then from that 10 inches, I'll be going in by one inch. As you can see what I'm doing, I'll be marking that all around from that point to the full length of my fabric. That's just like minusing one inch from it that's basically it that's all you need the bubble dress is very easy to make so please guys give me a thumbs up if you are enjoying the video so far i'll be cross checking my measurements so i don't make any mistake i'll cut this out when i finish cutting it i'll actually use this front pattern to cut out for my back pattern okay I'll spread that piece over so I'll be able to cut the other piece yeah I'll make it as straight as possible Then I'll cut it out. Okay. Okay, down, guys. I'll be labeling it as back and 
front i'll be coming down by nine to ten inches there about for my for the neck depth of my front pattern so i'll be slashing my patterns into two so that i'll give that um, middle sewing effect because there has to be a slit in the front so that's the reason for my slashing the front pattern i also slash the back pattern i'll be marking one inch out of the pattern one inch you can make yours two inches or 1.5 but today i'll be marking one inch forgot to show you guys that at the front and center front i marked out 15 inches for this for the slit in the middle of the center <laughs> be slashing my back pattern into two also so that it will rhyme with the front pattern i guess at this point i <laughs> i came in to show you guys so yeah i'll be marking it i'll be putting a notch there so i'll remember that i have to slit that place you know so i'll be sewing taking to my sewing machine so the front and back center yeah i have done that i've laid the front and back together to sew the shoulder line i'll be sewing that shoulder line by half an inch so i'll take it to my machine now and i'll sew it then i'll be closing no not closing i'll be folding in that front slit that i have there i'll be folding it okay now i've done that i've done the arm i've taken it in i folded the arm hole by one inch so i've done that already i'll be arranging this fabric now so that i will i will make um, the color piece for my neck so i'll be measuring that i'll be coming down by two inches two inches then I'm making a mark there going the sides you can see what I'm doing half an inch is okay for those sides if you give me like three lines there so from the first line I'll be measuring out what my neck and um, circumference of this dress is going to be so I have to measure that out so I'll know the amount of fabric I'll cut for the collar piece I hope i'm making a sense guys please if you don't understand you can ask me in the comment section you can ask me questions there okay now guys i'll be measuring around that middle line you can see that middle line there i won't be touching it i'll be touching the ones by the side that is where i'm measuring from i got 30 and a half inches so i'll just look for a plain fabric piece that's black that measures 30 and a half inches so i'll just trim that out and the width of the fabric is 3.5 inches for the booboo -boo dress it was not going to be too much you can make yours five inches or six inches but I'm making my own 3.5 inches then I'll start sewing from that last line there like I said before the middle line we won't be touching it we'll just be touching the lines by the sides and that line by the side I'm going to be starting from there to sew round 
till I get to the other line by the side if that makes sense that's how I'll be sewing my collar piece I'll be adding um, a gum stay to that so it will make it a bit stronger I've done those things now I'm trimming trimming the rough edges I'll weave that with my overlocker later so then I'll be sharing that middle line I'll be slashing it cutting it out so there will be a space for me to tuck in my collar piece so it will make a nice finishing over there okay then i'll be trimming the sides like like so Okay, I'll be pushing that in to make that um, booboo neckline effect, if that makes sense. I'll be pushing it in to, to make a neat finish in there. But while doing this, I, I actually changed my mind, guys. I decided to change the... Should I say change the neckline design of that booboo dress to something that is not too regular? So I said ah, I won't be doing this regular neckline today. I'll be doing something much more like not too popular, guys. So I'll show you later in the video how I achieved that in case you want to make yours like that then this piece i'll be cutting a square piece for the middle of my booboo -boo dress that design in the middle i'm making 10.5 inches by 10.5 inches i think all around is going to be 10.5 inches that's how i'll be cutting that Then I'll be using my gum stay on it. I'll iron it on it and I'll show you guys. I've done that main one means something to complete. That is that um you know that division or what should I call it? That slash there something i don't know what to call it but that design i'll be making it by minusing four inches from those sides and you know slanting that line like so like you see what i'm doing this if you don't understand what i'm saying please look at what i'm doing yeah that's how i'll be folding that part i'll be cutting that out sorry that the video is like this please pardon okay guys i'll sew that on the middle of my booty yeah this is what i was trying to show you guys this i made this neckline by just collecting the two pieces of um, the front part together joining it together and and sewing it giving a middle line like sewing it down to join with the other sewing i made at the center front this i hope i'm not speaking in parables i just joined the two pieces together at the center front straight down that's what i did and it came out beautifully guys let me know in the comment section if this neckline design came out beautifully or not <laughs> okay i'll be putting that beautiful design i have there in the front the middle just immediately after the neckline design i'll be putting that that beautiful design in the middle then i'll just sew it join the sides with half an inch and there you have it 
it came out than i expected it was so beautiful guys thank you very much for watching this video if you like it please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i'll see you next week with another beautiful tutorial bye for now